residents of Pingani Gudja Second Ward, located within the limits of Tallur Gram Panchayat near Kundapur, here have been fed up over the repeated fake assurances doled out by people's representatives during elections. The area falling under Bindur Assembly constituency has been suffering from lack of drinking water, power supply and proper infrastructure and the people living here under trying circumstances have decided to raise their voice. Pingane Gudde is located about 3 km away from Tallur via Parthi Gudde. Major part of the road leading to the village from Sabladi is made of mud. During monsoon season, water from higher areas gushed to the region, flooding the surroundings and turning the road slushy. Even though two wells have been dug by the Gram Panchayat out of Zilla Panchayat schemes, water from these wells are not portable. A pump set station for pumping water to houses here developed problems several years back and remains non-functional since then. Therefore, the people are forced to walk some distance to collect water from the tap. Life of the people become particularly treacherous during rainy season as they have to wade through knee-deep water, making sure not to slip into unprotected pits dug at a few places along the road. Absence of street lights and the problem of street dogs create added problems for school-going children, the people say. Vasanti, a local, says that children find it hard to move through the road, which is not only muddy and full of potholes, but also has drains at several places, endangering the road users. Uday Kumar Thallur, social worker and district president of Bahujan Samaj Party, says that various protests had been organized in front of panchayats to draw the attention of the government to their plight, but none of the Gram Panchayat, Taluk Panchayat and Zilla Panchayat members have done anything worthwhile to address their problems. Kubera, president of Pinga Negudde Action Committee, complained that the people's representatives who are cited only during the election time. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh Monday said he looked forward to the 5th BRICS summit in Durban in finding ways to revive growth, sustain macroeconomic stability and push investments. In his departure statement ahead of leaving for Durban, the Prime Minister said he hoped to discuss a host of issues with leaders of other BRICS nations as also those from Africa invited to the summit during his bilateral meetings on the margins of the event, March 26 and 27. At a time when the world is facing multiple challenges, timely opportunity to consult and coordinate on the broad range of issues with our BRICS partners, the Prime Minister said. India today completed a historic 4-0 clean sweep against Australia. For Australia, it was the first time in 43 years to suffer 0-4 series. Whitewash after Bill Loris side did the same in South Africa in 1969 and 70. This is first time in India's test history, winning 4-0 clean sweep gave Captain Dhoni a historic game. Once again, the main headlines. Absence of fear, divine punitive power, non-belief miscreants, theft increases. A theft-driven bank invented in Mangalore. Terry DeSouza elected in Chicago, first Indian-born lands vice governor. Pingani Gudde Talu residents worried, fake assurances for during elections. Timely opportunity to consult, Manmohan Singh leaves Durban. Historic clean sweep for India, Australia suffers after 43 years. This is all in this edition for more news. Keep watching V4 News 24-7 or you may also log on to v4news.com.